The thing I like the most about film photography is that I uh, don't have to care about uh, megapixels, uh, frame size, noise. Um, well, frame size does count and we don't have noise, we have grain. And grain we love. Fifty-one years ago, Jessica decided to create this twin lens reflex. Today, I want to talk about this beautiful camera. Today, it's all about the Jessica Matt EM twin, twin lens reflex camera. Before the Matt EM, Jessica created the Matt LM in 1958. LM stands for light meter. In 1964, the Matt EM was introduced. EM stands for exposure meter. In fact, the LM and EM are almost equal to each other. The only difference is the light meter of the EM is easier to use. So, this is the Yashica Matt EM twin lens reflex. Uh, EM stands for light meter, and we see here the selenium cells for metering the light. I will discuss that uh, in a bit. Um, and of course we see here the two lenses, the taking lens, the viewing lens, and the twin lens reflex. And the reflex is done by a mirror that's put in this box. Light comes in, will reflect on the mirror, and then you can look through the viewfinder and watch what the image will look like. Um, it's uh, pretty neat, it's a uh, uh, waist level viewfinder, this you have to look from above to actually see what, you, uh, what kind of uh, photo you're taking. Um, there is a sports viewfinder and that's that little hole there. You can collapse front and now you can hold up and look through that tiny hole and yeah well guesstimate when uh, the subject is in, in frame and take the picture um, Actually, I never used it uh, like that. Um, then we have, of course, a magnifying glass. Let me try to adjust here. Okay, this is the magnifying glass. And there you can see the red lines on the viewfinder. It's not very easy to see it here. No. No, we can see it a little bit, but okay. Um, that uh, magnifying glass, of course, um, helps you to um, focus. Okay, um, focusing. Focusing is done by this knob. By turning it, you see the complete set is moving. So, the capturing lens and the viewing lens are moving together, and actually they're the same lenses, 80mm uh, uh, f3.5, then the light meter. How does it work? Before you can start metering, you have to set the right ISO value or ASA. After that you can use the meter and I'm not sure if it shows but we have a red needle in the upper left corner and we have a green needle in the middle and you try to match the green needle with the red needle 
and after doing that in that window you can see what aperture and what shutter speed you should use to have the perfect exposure. In fact it's uh, the same way of metering um, that is done on the uh, Zenit E I showed you in uh, my former video. Well, what more can I tell? I thought about uh, focusing. Um, on the front we have the knobs for um, shutter speed and aperture and as a matter of fact I can show you let me focus on that there we are on the right hand side in this image it's on the top you can set the sh uh, shutter speed and with the left knob you can change the aperture so when that combination combination matches that combination uh, you're good to go and you're ready to click I'm talking about click here we have the release button and it's uh, leave shutter and that's very nice um, because it has a sync port as well and uh, having a leaf shutter means in this case it will synchronize at all speeds and that is from bulb to one five hundredth of a second and it even has um, a self timer here let me show you the winder this is usually the mount you can wind, then you turn back, flap back, and you can shoot another one. I'm not going to insert a roll. There are enough videos on YouTube showing how to do that. Um, but this is the inside. Spool of my last film will obviously go there the next time I will load it. Okay. Yeah, one last thing. Um, there is uh, this knob on uh, this focusing knob has the possibility to um, set the AS, uh, ASA reading, ISO reading, that's only for memory, it doesn't, uh, your own memory that is, um, it doesn't set anything within the camera. Um, and here you can see the, the depth of field scale, in fact let me show you better, there you can see the depth of field scale, so you know what um, depth of fields you will have and that's valuable as well because you're looking to another through another lens than uh, the lens that is taking uh, the photograph um, it's not possible for you to uh, see what the depth of field field would be yes camera is a medium format camera and um, well, it takes uh, medium format rolls. This is uh, a piece of uh, 120 roll. It takes um, 6 by 6 images. I love that format, uh, the square format. Um, for comparison, uh, this is a 135 or a 35 millimeter uh, roll. Uh, full frame, by the way. This is full frame and this is medium format imagine. Okay, uh, after this a few images I shot. Um, enjoy and hope to see you next time.